today we're t here to talk about Iron Man 3. Loved it. Um, you know what? I loved most of it. Like, I, <laughs> I liked it better than the second one. I, I definitely yes. liked it better than the second one. Um, I liked, I really enjoy like 90% of the film. Right. But I the 10% of the film just like T.O.'d me to like no other. Mm -hmm. And the thread within the three movies um, it just unraveled mm -hmm. to me. And um, there's supposed to be a big reveal. I'm just going to say that it does involve Iron Man's like number one villain, mm -hmm. the Mandarin. Yes. And there's just a major issue. Everyone who's probably read a review um, seen the movie or knows some spoilers probably knows what I'm talking about but it is a major letdown right mm -hmm. you know I, I agree I mean on one hand it was kind of funny I mean, it wasn't no, no kind of funny it was funny how they did it mm -hmm. but at the same time like like your reaction I guess the thing that was so funny about it was my reaction was the same as the characters that was in the film like no what really are you serious yeah. yeah, it's like, oh yeah, are you are you serious? But it's like, are you serious? Yeah, you know, it, how they wrote that moment, like the reveal. I mean, the, what was going on was humorous, but I don't know. We're so we we have all this history in our heads. But I would like to this this is my thought. If you were not aware of the history or anything, that as a movie viewer, that you would feel just a little bit slighted as well. Mm -hmm. because of how they did it because I guess how how, how the trailers made it because like the, the Mandarin he is such just like like he's like the he's not as big as Lex Luthor you know like Lex Luthor versus Superman but he's like Iron Man's main villain he's, I mean, he's, he's such, he's he's such, such a brilliant. He, he, you have to be brilliant he, to be right you have to be brilliant I mean the Mandarin is brilliant. He's a, a, a martial artist. He has alien technology. Mm -hmm. You know, this is all in the comic books. So so when when it played out the way that it did, it's just like you have this awesome villain, this awesome interesting character. Mm -hmm. And they changed it. They, they just totally changed well, it. Well, I think well, what do you guys think? I, I mean, Okay, I'm I'm not a huge fan of I'm sorry, and I'm probably gonna get blamed. I'm not a huge fan of Tony Stark in the comic books because I just think he's a douche. Yeah. Um, he's well, and he has he's he does douchey things. Yeah. You can't you can't deny that. Like that one time that he was like treating Pepper like a servant. She you know she splashed you know um, champagne. champagne in his face like douchey. You know. But anyways, um, but you know even you know as a person who's not really a huge fan. Of Tony Stark Iron Man, I also felt like, why would you guys do that to his main villain? Yeah, right. <laughs> like, it, that was a huge issue. Like, everything else, though, you know, I, everything else was fake. Like, I, like, I, the, I was humor, the, the humor, was, like, was if it was great. like in the beginning, and, like his dialogue, I'm like, okay, are they gonna overdo it? I, I didn't think they did, you know. Yeah. Um, I like the action, I like that he was, um, some people are complaining because he's more a man than the Iron Man in the film. Mm -hmm. Um, he had to do a lot of things that didn't involve his Iron Man suit. I mean, things happen. It needs to charge. It needs to be repaired. So, I mean, things like that actually do happen in the comic book. Mm -hmm. And um, I mean, he still has to use his wits and whatever right. beyond the suit. Right. And he did, and they showed that. But right. then there were like a ton of Iron Man suits in right. the film too. Right. So yeah. I remember there was one comic book. This came out years ago. But there was one instance where he was stranded on a deserted island. And he was just like, oh my gosh, like, what am I going to do? But then he was like, at the, but he was like, I'm an engineer. So what did he do? He started making bows and arrows. He started, you know what I mean? You know, he started doing all yeah. these like cool things, like being on this island, even though he had nothing, but he came up with ways. So that's what, so at the end of the day, Tony Stark is an engineer and he's going to find a way because mm -hmm. that's part of his character. He's, he, he that he's going to find a way to fix something mm -hmm. and Tony Stark is the dysfunctional character period yeah period Tony Stark is a dysfunctional character so to see him going through the things that he went through to make him I mean he was still humor it was still humorous but I, I really liked mm -hmm. the, the the like how you post-traumatic uh, post -traumatic stress so you know whatever after the whole New York incident well it wasn't an incident you know 
But um, so what are you gonna think about? Well, you know, one thing. Speaking about it, I won't to give too much away, but you know, I guess we already said it. But um, I thought they didn't quite deal with explain how he got over it, or like I understood him going through it and everything. But I just yeah. didn't feel. I felt like they kind of left that off. Well, I kind of I, I agree with you because that because like when he had his last about with it I guess in the movie there was so much sarcasm up to that point I didn't know if he was serious or if he was still being sarcastic about it mm -hmm. or whatever so I, I was like okay well um, but yeah, but you know I guess they maybe they thought he officially got over everything I mean he, 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 he found a solution out. to work through because he needed to work through a solution but right. they never kind of talk obviously we understand the root of how it all began but he didn't talk about like someone asked him like how'd you survive a warm home? Like, I, I want to hear you talk about it. Like, someone asked you about it. I want to hear him talk about it. Well, maybe it was a licensing thing that they really couldn't know. Or maybe it's all normal. Or maybe Joss Whedon knows one thing to talk about to the next movie. Maybe. Okay. Ah. Maybe, maybe, maybe. But I still felt like that was a little well, left off. But the thing I, 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 I would like to... Could, well, you know, the movie was the humor in it. You know, it, it, it was wasn't really distracting, and I thought it was so good. Matter of fact, I laughed more in that Iron Man movie than I have in quite a few different comedies that right. have been coming out. Mm -hmm. And I thought it was really he, great. He had this chemistry with this kid that was like helping him out, and I mean, it was it was hilarious. Yeah, right. it was. I mean, it, 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 I mean, he had. I mean, really, it was a top notch cat. Cat. You have Ben Kingsley. Ben Kingsley. Uh. uh uh, Guy Pierce, you had uh, what a Pacho, you know, Don Tito. I mean, these are all fantastic, mm -hmm. fantastic actors and actresses, like within their own way. And that kid was fantastic. Mm -hmm. You know, what do you guys think about? Because they, they, people were saying that the reason why, um, where people were upset about Ben Kingsley being the Mandarin and not some. You know, a, a Chinese actor or a Japanese actor. Or well, you know how they or, did know. it. Um, well, I I didn't like it because. Well, they they did do it a certain way, but I had heard that the reason why they did it was because they didn't want to upset the Asian viewers of making him a bad guy. Because so you know what? Ridiculous. You, you know, know what? I just you can't like pick her. and choose because you know everyone was teed about race bending and Avatar. You know, right. it just kind of is what it is. Right. Like I can uh, totally understand the Mandarin age. You know, I could I can understand how that might someone might be upset, but you know, we people talk about Americans and their films or whatever. It's just it's right. what it is, you know. Right. And so now you to make other people happier for whatever reasons that they wrote it the way they wrote it. Now they have all these people who are upset about how they wrote it. So yeah, I remember after the movie came out and I was talking to. Um, uh, Asian man, and he was he was saying how he was upset that you know um, that a, a, a Chinese person uh, like himself t didn't play the Mandarin, and uh, uh, was upset about that. I was just like, you know, I was just curious about what you guys think, or what other people might think about it as well. You know, I, I, I was kind of, I was when when they say Ben Kingsley was playing him, I was taken aback by it, you know, because again, like we know the history, you know, I mean, there's a lot of different people that, that could have did it up. Okay, it doesn't matter even if they got the right person for it, they wrote it and did it completely wrong anyway, so. Yeah, that's that true. That is true. It's, it, it was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it was, but the overall, I, I did really enjoy the movie. I, did, I, I did. really, I was really, and, and then really once again, again, the movie until I am so, that moment. Yeah. I am so surprised. Super digging it. I was surprised how much I was digging it. Yeah. yeah I am still so surprised that after the movie's over, how many people are leaving right out. Yeah. Like, yeah. I understand if you have an emergency, okay, then, you know, I, can, I would expect maybe about less than 5% leave out. But if you're going to go see a Marvel movie, mm -hmm. There's always something after the credits. Always. Like, There's I couldn't always believe it. I'm watching people credits. walk out. I'm like, don't they know? I'm almost like, you know, like, are you guys serious right now? Yeah, I was, like, it seemed like they played, like, the credits where they show, like, a little, some animation or whatever. And then 
it would, those you, credits were super long. You thought, yeah, you thought there wasn't going to be anything, and I'm like, you know, there's got to be something at the very, very end, and, I'm, and I turned into my cousin who I was with, and I'm like, if they don't play something after these credits, I'm going to be T.O. because right. they've already Right, but now it's got to the point where, you know, everybody expects it so much, and I think if there wasn't anything after the credits, then they would really announce it or have to announce it because they, they've just got to this, like, habit of mm -hmm. doing it. And but I had, people, like, two things. <laughs> yeah, I had people texting me, like, after after the movie, after they saw the movie, it was like, was there anything after the credits? I'm like, are you serious? There's yeah. always something after the credits. There's always something after the credits! People, did you notice that people, after after Marvel started doing that, people were waiting for, like, even with Batman, like, yeah. <laughs> seeing if there was anything after those credits. I don't leave right. credits. Uh, well, usually. Because even during the Great Gatsby, I'm like, I'm just going to stay here until it's over. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's got to the point where, I, yeah, I don't leave anything either. Like, it's just, you know, like, Marvel scarred me for life. Mm -hmm. But, you know, but it's still that, that hope. And then that's that you can have that hope. Another thing yeah. about the movie, though, um, with the extremists and people blowing up thing, those are actual stories that they took from the comics, and they combine, because I know Obadiah's son was the one who was behind the people blowing up. And that was actually part of the story with Pep he offended Pepper and Pepper threw the yeah. champagne in his face. And um and there's a great story with extremists and, and manner and how he's gonna like release it all over the world. People are gonna uh it's gonna kill the majority of the population, but everybody else who survive will be stronger and who's gonna, you know, just have the survival of the fittest kind of thing. Mm -hmm. That was a great story. And I think it was it was after the Civil War. Yeah. But um I don't know how too far it was. But I mean yeah, I'm, I'm disappointed with the whole Mandarin thing, but I thought it was interesting how they combined the stories, and I thought it worked um, as, you know, as opposite to the second movie when they had the opportunity, when they, you know, did Crimson Dynamo slash Whiplash, which that was okay, when they introduced Black Widow, who, like, had no relation to anything, mm -hmm. and I thought it was a missed opportunity, so. I thought they did much better things with this third one, but then they screwed it up. But 90% of the film, totally it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, tell us what you guys think. I'm Katrina. I'm Gina. I'm Christina. And, and we're, we're the Gorgeous Geeks.